uh, to all of you, uh, welcome. We're, we're pleased to have the Lieutenant Governor here, who is really has to be one of the hardest working public officials I've ever seen that has run from one end of the state to the other on Economic Development Council meetings, so we certainly salute him. And I'd like to welcome also several members of the Governor's senior administration who are with us, who are also part of the assessment team uh, that will be reviewing the work of our various regional councils. First of all, the Secretary of State, Cesar Perales, is with us. Cesar, welcome. <laughs> General Services, Roanne Destito. <laughs> Commissioner of Tax and Finance, Tom Maddox. Tom. <laughs> and, uh, President and CEO of the Environmental Facilities Corporation, Matt Driscoll. <laughs> Commissioner of Agriculture and Markets, Daryl Aberdeen. certainly one of the leaders of economic development in our state, the president and CEO of the Empire State Development Corporation, Ken. <laughs> our job today is to really tell you about our agenda, the things that we're going to be doing. But uh, we're obviously starting in one of the great historic uh, sites of the uh, state of New York. And I know Governor Cuomo is not only a, uh, a history uh, buff of New York State, but of our entire country. Uh, but it is great to start here to tell you about our region because of the important history that this area re represents. This year just happens to be the 235th anniversary of the important role that Kingston played in the Revolutionary War. The Constitution of New York State was adopted here in 19, 1777. George Clinton was inaugurated as the first governor of New York here in 1777. He was the longest serving governor in the history of our state, of course went on to serve as vice president of the United States under both Thomas Jefferson and James Madison. Of course, some of us think in New York governors for higher office, but that's another story. Uh, and then of course, during this time, over 235 years ago, the British were sailing up the Hudson to burn Kingston on April 20th. Uh, of March 4th in 1805. So this area is full of rich history, so it's great uh, to start here. And I, I'm sorry, to, they burned Kingston on October 16th, 1777. So it's great to start here in Kingston for this tour of the <coughs> Mid-Hudson uh, Valley. We're at the end of the day gonna sail down the river and end up in Poughkeepsie, New York, which also has great history. They ratified the U.S. Constitution in Poughkeepsie, the state of New York did, 1788. And along the way, we're going to see some wonderful uh, sites. We're going to sail past the uh, Socus area where the prison ships were in the Revolutionary War. And that was one of the areas that was hardest hit uh, by the uh, hurricane that we experienced last year. And we saw the great work of the governor and his team in trying to help this area recover. And I think that's what great leaders do. We're going to sail by the Oliver Hazard Payne Mansion in Ulster that was uh, the building, the estate that was built by one of the founders of the Standard Oil Corporation, along with John Garfo, but also a hero of the Civil War, a general in the Hill of the Civil War. We'll sell by the FDR home, the library, and gravesite where the president and the first lady are buried. We'll see New York's newest landmark, the walkway over the Hudson that Rob Dyson and other great leaders in our state uh, made uh, possible. We'll arrive at Warius Park in Poughkeepsie, then we'll go to the historic Cornell Boathouse on the Marist campus, where we'll present our council's plans for 2012 to the governor, governor's strategic implementation, uh, implementation assessment uh, team. So as we pass these great historic sites going down uh, the uh, Hudson and think about our, our wonderful past and our great leaders, we'll be focusing also on the future future of the state of New York as Governor Cuomo has tasked us with. Uh, we'll start here by learning a little bit about the revitalization that's going on on this Kingston waterfront, these two projects, and certainly uh, projects that stimulate the economy in this particular area. On the boat, we'll hear from Sirius Technologies, an advanced technology company that had received a CFA like uh, this project up here in our last round of funding to give the governor a progress report on that. We'll hear from Community Builders, another CFA awardee. And as we get closer uh, to the walkway over the Hudson, we'll get a report on the tremendous economic impact that that has been having on our region. On the boat, 
globe will have local uh, foods and beverages from companies in the region. People sometimes forget this an area rich in agriculture, uh, agri-tourism, and environmental tourism. And we'll also have uh, food and representatives from the internationally recognized Culinary Institute of America, one of the great assets and very unique educational institutions uh, in our area. We'll also pass by several sites that are potential CFA awardees in 2012 and tell you about uh, some of their work. We'll talk about the industries in New York where we believe at the council level we have the greatest potential to lead the nation. Biotechnology, advanced manufacturing, information technology with emphasis on cloud computing and analytics. We'll also explore with the governor how we can use our great natural resources, our scenic beauty, our great history to enhance tourism, waterfront development, and food and agricultural industry. So, Governor Cuomo, we thank you uh, for being with us today, and thank you for devoting a significant amount of time to this initiative. You have really showed us what leaders do, and a few weeks ago, the Governor spent the entire day with the Economic Development Councils, reviewing the work of every region uh, in this state. So, like uh, Governors George Clinton and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, you've certainly showed us a great vision for our state. But for those of us that are following you and are working on your behalf, we're doing this because we think you understand the critical importance of jobs, not only to our economy, but more importantly, to the self-worth and dignity of every citizen of the state of New York. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Governor. <laughs>